Okay. So, uh, I don't know how I feel about saving up for that shovel this whole time. Let's uh, let's do some traveling. Let's see. We have the tail. Hmm, let's check out this uh tail cave. Oh, there, tail cave. There it is. <laughs> Oh, man. That's exactly where we needed to go. Wait, what is this? It said to go right for Tail Cave. Okay, well. Uh, oh, here it is. Wow. That's nice and hidden. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Let's see. It does not go through the save files. I... <laughs> Wouldn't that be insane? Just like you start up a save file, it starts your name as Thief. <laughs> That's some next level trolling. Alright. Oh. Oh boy. All of the all of the enemies in this game look like uh look like they belong from other like they came straight from Mario games. They even have the chain chomp. It's like they were trying to make a Mario game in uh in a 2D platform like a 2D space and they're like, "You know what? Let's just make this a Zelda game. That makes more sense." Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. You know, <laughs> it's funny because um, Edmund himself, the the creator of Binding of Isaac, said that he uh, he, he was inspired by Zelda dungeons to um, to make his game. This uh, the, the 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 fire um, what are these called? These bonfires. Shooting out uh, projectiles, it just completely reminded me of Binding of Isaac. And I'm also scared of every single one of these bonfires now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Get off me. Okay, we're good. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, the only difference is, like, you're not shooting out tears. And uh, it's not gory and... Basically, this is playable by uh, for kids, <laughs> appropriate for kids. Like, like when Charlie's watching me play Binding of Isaac, I'm just like, you know, I sh I'll, I'll switch over to Tetris 99. <laughs> Even like Cuphead, I guess Cuphead's kind of uh, a different spectrum. It just looks like an old school cartoon, but it's got some twisted stuff in there. Piece of power. Okay, here we go. Except there's no poop. Well, the poop is, uh, is definitely to keep, like, people that want, like, a regular-looking video game away. <laughs> They're like, what? Why is there poop all over the place? Alright. Let's open this one. Red rupee. Ooh. See, this is what I'm talking about. We go to the dungeon, and then we'll, um, we'll probably have enough afterwards to... Get that shuffle. We have three small keys? At once? If you guys are gonna keep up with that Skyward Sword playthrough, I'll just tell you right now, there's no, uh... <laughs> there's not that many moments when you, um... have more than one small key on you. That's for sure. Sorry, spoilers, I know. It's insider information. Okay. You. Die. Die? Die before the thing gets here. Okay, we're fine. Oh, jukes. Oh boy. I'm guessing you have to match them. Okay. Nope. 
That's completely not matching them. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to the owl. The beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. <laughs> wait. So wait, is the owl saying I can't make it out of the floor? Because that's extremely ominous. <laughs> it's it's a that's a huge manga s. Okay, boom. No, you are you. <laughs> Hit you guys at the same time. Green. Green. Boom. Nailed it. It's that easy. It's a stone beak. Now we can make out what the owl's saying. Okay. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. The spined ones. What's this? Is it just like a window? That's strange. Okay, let's see what's over here. This looks like the next place to go. Okay. I'm guessing these aren't the spined ones that he's talking about. This is a shelled one. It's a it's literally a shelter. <clears throat> Wait, don't all don't all Wiimotes have batteries? You trying to you trying to mind game me? <laughs> They didn't make wired Wiimotes. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's follow over here. There we go. Yeah, we need to push this there. Yeah. <laughs> Easy peasy puzzle. Yo, did you see those plays? Let's go. Major plays right now. <laughs> he he was rushing me as soon as I went in here. And I was like, nope, get in the hole. <clears throat> Yo, what was I just saying? They were trying to make a Mario game. And they were like, yo, how about we just make this a Zelda game? A hundred percent. Oh, man. But yeah, if you keep batteries in anything for an extended period of time, it has a has a chance to burst open it's it's kind of uh it's kind of messed up yo rocks feather that gives us jumping capabilities i'm pretty sure that's a <sighs> let's try this again <laughs> It's a complete bruh moment. Um, you know, it's super framey down here. Okay. Ah, no more Goombas. I have not tried to powder the Goombas. Let's try it out. Did you see me try to jump on top of the Goomba? Oh, wait, it works. And uh, that also works. It, like, lights them on fire. That's kind of messed up. Oh, no, 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 me do no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. What's going on here? Usual. Phase up. 
<laughs> Jeez. I'm not familiar with this copy pasta hype. Uh, okay, so can we jump through here? Oh, wait, can we put the beak on all of these? Okay. Uh, if there's a door that you can't open, move a square block. Well, that could have helped us. What about you? Turn aside this... That's a, that's a repeat. Don't you guys hate reruns? You know, <laughs> this is gonna, this is, this sounds like, um, like I'm, like an I'm old thing. Uh, but kids these days, <laughs> they're, they're not gonna know what repeats are, or like, you know, reruns. You never have to watch it, like, unless you actually want to. Like, I hated tuning into, like, I, I would look at the directory, the the TV guide, and I'm like, oh, cool. Boy Meets World is on tonight. <laughs> also, TV guides. What are those? <laughs> but I would turn on, um, you know, Boy Meets World. It's on at 7. Let's, uh, let's turn that on, and it's... The college days, and it's the same exact episode that aired two nights ago. Are you serious? <laughs> like, at least show, like, an old-school episode, you know what I'm saying? Or something with Minkus. What do we have? Oh, it's a map! Press minus to look at it, okay. Oh, we're missing this, but we don't have bombs. Mm, oh, we can jump. We can jump over that now. Okay, good. Yo, yo, that was slick. We got a guardian acorn. It'll reduce the damage you take by half. Sweet. Um, I'm just gonna leave you. There we go. Yo! What is this? Okay. Okay. Alright. He's he's not a pretty looking guy. That's for sure. He definitely doesn't look like any Zelda enemies. You know, Link's Awakening kind of feels like that, uh... Super Mario Brothers 2, no, it, Super Mario World 2. The one that was, um, supposed to be Doki Doki Pan uh, Panic? <laughs> he looks like a nerd's candy mascot. That's a good one. He looks like, uh, he looks like Grimace. Yo, we should have kept that fairy in the bottle. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Beginner moves. Um... Birdo. Yeah, Birdo. Does this stay? You know what? Let's science it up. Yep. Yeah, it stays. Good stuff. But yeah, Birdo was was uh, initially a bad guy. Like, the first boss of like the first stage. But... But I'm not saying that that, uh, that creature looked like Birdo. I'm saying, like, Link's Awakening is kind of a... Super Mario World 2-esque game, whereas, um... It kind of goes out of the... The norm for the, um... For the series. <laughs> this is super creepy. There's dead bodies over there? What is this area supposed to be? Hold on, let's look at the map. Okay, we haven't gotten a boss key yet, right? Yeah, we're not gonna be able to make it through here. Or a nightmare key, hmm. Huh. No, 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 oh. Extremely lucky. All right, so where would this key be? Oh, we can jump over here. Bruh.
You know my favorite power, uh, part of this uh, power blade is it makes us run faster. <laughs> the thing about putting this game into um, into the new art style is you can tell how slow it actually was. <laughs> the the movement was extremely slow initially. There's the nightmare key. Let's go. <clears throat> how come the feather? Uh, <laughs> how come the feather makes you remember how to jump? I think his legs are just like extremely brittle. Maybe the feather makes gravity um, <laughs> less effective on you. I don't know. I don't know. Video games. Video James. Hello. I don't know what this thing is. It's half a lemon. With some googly eyes, and it's got like a hula skirt? I don't know. Even the name is like... <laughs> what's going on? Oh, this is the first boss of like every single Zelda game. Nope. 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 Gotcha. Oh! Oh my... Oh, he... Oh, well now this makes sense. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, it turns out you can't fall against this boss. It's a total callback to, to Link's, awa uh, Link's Awakening. Link uh, to the past. Yeah, same exact boss style. And you can't fall off the stage. Gotcha. Nope. Nope. Oh boy. Boom! Get wrecked, dude. He's a little bit easier than the Link to the Past one. Yeah, because uh, the Link to the Past one, um, like, shortens and eventually moves super, super fast. You got a heart container, your maximum heart, uh, number of hearts has increased. Awesome! We got five now. Alright. What do we have here? It is an instrument. Ah! The full moon cello. Yo, that was slick. Who was playing that? <laughs> Did that play it by itself? <sighs> That's kind of creepy. This also reminds me of uh, Cadence of Hyrule, which we never finished. Might have to go back into that. A path opens in the blooms. In the blooms. What are they talking about? Over here? You know what? Let's, uh, let's just explore a little bit. Oh! <laughs> that is an instrument of the sirens! I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You didn't believe that I was like a real person or That instrument along with the seven others in the set Has the power to wake the wind fish You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions Your next goal is north in Goponga swamp. Hoot in indeed Brrr. How's that Tootsie Pop, <laughs> Mr. L? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, can we grab these apples? What's the point of the rock feather if I can't get these apples? What's wrong with these kids? You guys missing your ball? 
It's not like that, guys. Uh, the Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. That it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something at Bow Wow's house. There's a really bad scene with the Moblins. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a look at myself. Ugh. Oh no, the Bow Wow is gone. The Chomp Chomp is gone. How dare they. Somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Alright. Where is the Moblin? They're all looking downwards. What are you guys looking at? Dude, you're asking me when we started to live on this island? What do you mean by when? Whoa, the concept just makes my head hurt. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Do you know anything about the Moblins? She's over here singing. Uh, okay. I, th well, the, the kids said that they walked into the house, right? Hmm. No, it's completely peaceful here. Where did the Moblins go, lady? <laughs> she gives zero information. <laughs> Alright, kids. I'm gonna need uh, more information. <sighs> Nobody's telling me any information for me to resolve this faster. I'm just gonna go into the forest. And see if I can find these moblins. Ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -bum. How dare you! Gotcha. Okay. I know for sure that Bow Wow is supposed to be used up here. But also, I can now jump over this. That's awesome. Yeah. Mr. Wright. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh, that's sad. Why do you have these holes in front of your house? <laughs> That's one way to keep people out. Bam, bam. There's a whole, like, new area we can travel to and, uh, discover just because of this, uh, this jumping skill. It's pretty slick. Alright, through here. Although our main goal is to try to find where... Like, what happened to Bow Wow? And I'm not talking about the artist. I think we all know what happened to him. The same fate that befell uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of Tal Tal Heights. All right, so we were going to the correct area. It looks like Tal Tal Heights. It looks like uh, that is exactly where we were going. So, oh, oh. No, 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 you sly dog, you. Okay. We're fine. Yeah, let's check out what's up here. Hello. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. 
You are there. Hmm? <laughs> that makes that made zero sense. Okay. We can't open this because this this thing is in the way and we can't lift it yet. So we need those bracelets. Um so this is not the correct way. Hold on. Let's talk to the uh let's talk to Ursula again. What's his name? <laughs> Ulrira. Bring bring Hello, this is Ulrira. Well most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of tall tall heights. Tall, tall heights. How do we get there? What's the sign? All right. Uh, no tall, tall heights there. Nope. Yo, that was slick. <laughs> hey, more mushrooms. Can always go with more shrooms. Don't take that out of context. I guess the that's the only context that it was uh really providing. Um Let's see. Yeah, let's save right here and call it with uh, Link's Awakening for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching.